Hey guys, I'm LB, and Tony of Pure Evil asked me to play Skyferret maps. Or actually, Tony of Pure Evil wanted me to play the most recent series from Skyferret, and I've been meaning to play all of Skyferret's maps, so I just figured, you know what, how about, in order to work our way up to Tony of Pure Evil's most recent map request, uh, we need to play all the Skyferret maps before that, right? That makes sense, right? Well, there, there's 145 entries here. There's 100, 145 Sky Ferret maps, apparently. So it's gonna take us like a year and a half to get to Tony of Pure Evil's request, but we're gonna do it. We will do it. Let's start off with Flubber Ferrets by Sky Ferret. Ferrets can jump, right? Or they can just bounce around. This is my second creation. It's not long, but it's a little less than medium difficult. I figured I'd build it this way so that everyone can enjoy it. I hope I didn't use too many of those lighting strip panels, but it's an alternative to observation room windows. I playtested the heck out of it to look any, for any exploits, but if you can ferret your way around the gist of the puzzle or break it, let me know. Alright, well. As with most map creators, when I started the, uh, when I started the earliest maps, they usually, the quality improves over time, and the quality starts off pretty low, but, uh, yeah, let's look at this. Because, uh, it, it's pretty obvious with Skyferret that, you know, this is- he started off with Puzzle Maker, and then transitioned over to Hammer, and, like, all his maps are Hammer now, whereas they used to all be Puzzle Maker like this. Interesting. This can also be turned off by... oh, that. Why didn't I do that before? Oh, that's why I didn't do that before, it's because of... Gotta get a gel right here, apparently. Actually, let's get it closer to the button, please. Thank you. So now the gel's by the button, I can do that. Then I can do that. And this. And, uh, well... Actually, I don't even know if I need to gel there, but whatever, we did it. Let's just get gel out in all the places. We have a little escape hatch here, which is nice. Hmm. I can actually grab the funnel from here, although I'm not sure how intended that might be. But it seems like I do need the funnel to get over there. Hmm. Let's, let's try this again, perhaps. And this time, I will just grab the funnel. There we go. Funnel grabbed. And, uh, oh, I need to press this now. Alright. Let's make sure this doesn't kill me. Save, and continue. Oh, come on. Are you serious? There we go. I think that timer is just long enough. Yeah, just long enough. Alright, cool. So then... That portal is a return path. What do we have in here? A whole nother area. Yeah, so right now that first part wasn't really much of a puzzle. But we'll see what we have in here. This respawns the cube. This button turns off of that, this blur. We got... This, which maybe leads back to... this area? Yeah, it does. Alright, leads back down there. Okay. Lots of return paths everywhere, so that's good news! I mean, Skyferret started off making sure their maps at least had no trapping situations, as they said. That's more than most map makers can say starting off. Hmm. What the heck is that? I can't even tell what I'm looking at back there. There must be another return path, probably. Alright, well, I think to start off, let's- let's funnel this cube outside like that. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got that, we can do this, which... Oh, oh, we got more gel. Look at that. Who knows what we need gel for in here, but I guess it's bounce across this gap, probably. There we go. And we have another cube. Just take this with us, because it seems like a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, this is the return path, all right. So so far, the main puzzle that we just had right now was using the funnel while standing on the button to push the cube out here. That was that's like the first puzzly thing that we've come come across so far. Uh, what do I need to do next, though? This still doesn't have any signage, so we don't need to go this way. I guess. What do I need to do next, actually? Hmm. 
Do I just need both cubes in here or something? I can't go back in this direction, right? Yeah, cannot. Well, let's- let's try taking this cube with me. Oh wait, that's got a fizzler though. Huh. Maybe the whole point is just that I now have a cube over there. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Let's take this cube over here instead. This is probably where we're meant to take it. Set down here. I'll just set it down right approximately there while we mess with this button. There we go. And that's everything, looks like. <laughs> yeah, this kind of reminds me of Death Witch's early tests. I remember... I remember, uh, yeah, Death Witch's first test. He's deleted most of them now, but I still have videos of them. And, uh, he said that back when the workshop was brand new, those were considered good. But, uh, yeah, times have changed, haven't they? Times have really changed. Anyway, we're, we'll eventually get our way up to better Skyfair maps. I might stream some of these early maps in a live stream, just so that we can get them out of the way faster. But, uh, yeah, this is how things are gonna start out for now. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!